everyone, I am Dr. Karthik Subramanian, Consultant Trauma and Joint Replacement Surgeon from Horizon Hospital Thane. Today, on this occasion of World Osteoporosis Day, we are here to increase the emphasis and increase the awareness of osteoporosis in our day-to-day -day lives and I am here to answer some questions related to that matter. For understanding osteoporosis, we need to first understand the formation and the basic mechanism of bone production in our body. Right from childhood, in our early days, there is a constant process of bone formation and resorption happening in our body in each and every day. So with age, this process alters a little bit. As the age increases, the amount of bone production decreases and the amount of bone resorption increases, thus leading to weaker bones. This process is called as osteoporosis age-related, senile osteoporosis. When this process occurs at a younger age, that is what is called as pathological osteoporosis or the secondary osteoporosis. One of the most common causes is age. With age, everyone is bound to have osteoporosis at some point or the other. The other induced causes are gross lifestyle changes like excess of tobacco, smoking, alcohol intake, drugs, lack of adequate nutrition, inadequate exposure to early morning sunlight, lack of exercises which has happened which is increased on the prevalence in day-to-day -day life and another important factor especially in females is hormonal factors as in during pregnancy, lactation and in the postmenopausal period where they are in dire need of calcium as well as vitamin D. So the people who are more prone to develop osteoporosis are the one who have multiple repeated fractures known as fragility fractures, uh, females especially during pregnancy, lactation and in the postmenopausal period and some people who don't develop symptoms but have a constant persistent body ache or weakness or fatigue. They are the people who are more prone to develop osteoporosis. Osteoporosis goes hand in hand with osteoarthritis of the knee joint. Addressing osteoarthritis of the knee joint without addressing osteoporosis is a job half done. One person should always know that the pain arising from the knee joint need not be always arising from osteoarthritis. The pain can be also due to osteoporosis. So uh, I would surely advise every person who is suffering from severe osteoarthritis of the knee joint to address the issue and to get tested for osteoporosis also. For this example, I just I would like to show an x-ray of one of my patients who had severe knee joint pain for many years. Basically, we did an x-ray of the knee joints which showed severe osteoarthritis of both the knee joints. But then, uh, taking her history and clinical examination, I just found out she had multiple body joint pains. So then we evaluated her for osteoporosis and we treated her for osteoporosis. Now, in spite of having severe osteoarthritis of the knee joint, she is relatively pain-free and is able to do her routine activities daily. Prevention is the major and the most important modality for treating osteoporosis. How do we prevent it? We at Horizon Hospital follow three golden rules, L, T and D. L is for making any lifestyle changes like cessation of tobacco, smoking, drugs, alcohol, excessive caffeine intake, adequate nutrition and proper exercises. The D includes the dietary changes which includes high sources of calcium and vitamin D like you can take go for milk and dietary products like milk, paneer, soya, ragi and all orange juices and along with that the third modality is the medication part which we treat when the patient has already presented with osteoporosis which includes various drug injectable as well as oral medications which will help the patient recover from severe osteoporosis. And we take special care and check for osteoporosis in all the elderly population and in postmenopausal females. So I hope I have answered all the questions about osteoporosis and if not, please be free to ask us at any point of time and we'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thank you.